What's up, my freaks? All right, guys, let's talk about the Mac 2 Gen 2. All right, for those of you that may have seen the video I posted uh, yesterday, the you are not having deja vu. I'm redoing the video. I will talk about uh, why I had a little bit of inaccurate information in it that I'm going to uh, explain toward the end of the video, so uh, stay tuned for that. But those of you that haven't seen it or that want to hear the information again, so here are the changes we made to make the uh, Mac 2 a Gen 2 versus the Gen 1. So first thing we changed was the standoffs. They look the same from the outside, but they are now threaded. So you have screws coming in from either side into the standoffs rather than having the lock side being uh, tapped. And so you don't have to worry about breaking screws off into your lock side or anything anymore. Um, it also makes it a little easier to uh, assemble and disassemble the knife because you can pop off your um, pivot screw, those two screws, and take the lock side off without having to flip it back and forth. So that's a nice advantage. The other thing about the standoffs is they have shoulders on them. You can see that. Um, they have a shoulder on either side, so they go into a counter bore on the handle. They go in there just like that. And what that does is it aligns the, the frames. It acts like two more locating pins to help align the frames more precisely. Uh, and we found that to be a big help already as far as being able to get everything tuned and everything correctly. It just holds everything more precisely, makes for a better quality product. So I'm very excited about that change. We also started milling a, a pocket for the base of the clip. Um, nothing revolutionary, but we decided that would be a, a, a better function and a better look for it. So. We've done that, so all of them will come now with that. Helps to uh, you know keep from the side to side rocking the clip if your screws uh, try to get a little loose or whatever. So um, that's a change. We also now have changed some of the hardware. Our bearings are no longer the generic bearings. They're now made in the U.S. by tie connector. They are ceramic bearings with Delrin cages. So they are ceramic, so they give you that nice feel that I know a lot, a lot of you like the ceramic and um, no more worrying about rust from the uh, stainless cages and stuff. So that's a nice little upgrade. The clip and body screws are also no longer the kind of generic screws that we're using. They are now um, also made by tie connector and they are titanium. Um, the pivot and pivot screw are still stainless. The uh, thumb stud and standoffs are still stainless, but the actual uh, 256 screws for the clip and the four for the body are all uh, titanium now. So those can be anodized. We'll probably be sending some out that are anodized or uh, I know a lot of you guys like to anodize stuff. So that's an, always an option on that. So um, that's, that's a pretty cool feature. So now all of our hardware is made 100% in the US. And that brings me to the correction that I wanted to make. Um, yesterday, I mistakenly um, stated that every single part of the knife was made in the US. Um, I did not intentionally try to mislead anybody, but somebody asked in the comments where our titanium was made. And I will be completely honest with you, I was under the naive assumption and am guilty of not having done enough research on it. It, uh, it is not made in the US, it's apparently made overseas. The actual raw titanium that comes in rolls or sheets or whatever that, that then is uh, brought over here and turned into product is actually made overseas. So um, I, I get all my titanium from George at uh, American Metal Exchange. If you need titanium, he's a great guy to hit up. Um, but, uh, Come to find out, uh, domestic titanium is is not readily available and costs about 30 to 45 percent more when you can get it. So uh, I guess that explains why that seems to be what everybody's using. So my totally my fault for not having researched that more before. Now I don't know why I had it in my head that that was uh, not the case, but it is. But I'm talking strictly about the raw material. From that point on, everything else is done in the U.S. The titanium is. Um, it's, we get it in, in sheets that's sent to our water jet from George. It gets from, sent from there to the water jet, which is over in Mississippi. Um, he, he cuts it up, sends it to the double disc in California, comes to us as blanks. We put them on the machines and everything else is done to them here. <clears throat> so um, I know a lot of people probably would not even have bothered with making this clarification, but I always try to be as completely 110% honest and open with you guys about everything about the knives. So there it is. Um, unfortunately, the titanium is, the raw material is not actually made um, in the US, although I wish it was. So um, I guess that's one we'll just have to live with. Uh, but other than that, all the work, everything is done in the US. Um, and so live with the titanium, I guess, but we'll have to. Um, it, it honestly almost made me sick when I found that out, but it is what it is. It made me even more sick to think that I could have potentially uh, misled some of you guys, and I never want to do that. So 
um, that's the correction on that. I do appreciate you guys. I hope you like the new Gen 2 changes. Uh, look for them to start shipping to dealers. Everything from this point forward that goes to dealers will be Gen 2, so you don't have to worry about questioning that. Um, and we will be dropping some Gen 2 later this week. We will do some announcements about that separately. So we appreciate you and hope you have a great day.